The most basic foundational frequency is 1 Hz or one complete wave oscillation in the time span of one second. Here we can compare 1 Hz, the first harmonic, with its next octave of 2 Hz, the second harmonic. Both of these harmonic frequencies express the note of C, which can scale up from 1 Hz to 256 Hz or middle C by doubling through its octaves. We can also compare C at 1 Hz with its perfect fifth note of G, which enters the series at the third harmonic, or 3 Hz, which is 3 waves per second. If we compare C, the first harmonic, with F sharp, the eleventh harmonic at 11 Hz, or 11 wave oscillations per second, we start to see something interesting. As sine waves are more tightly compressed to express higher frequencies, the rounded nature of the wave begins to sharpen into more of a point. The difference brings to mind the rounded Greco-Roman arch in comparison with the Gothic pointed arch. Might there be a message encoded into the architecture suggesting that the Gothic is representing a higher frequency? The Earth is said to resonate at a base frequency of 7.83 Hz a slow vibration generated by lightning events in the cavity between the ionosphere and the surface of the Earth. It's one of the Schumann resonance frequencies, and in the harmonic series it would be a flat C note, just under the inaudible C at the eighth harmonic. The vortex math value of 7.83 is 9. In my last video, I discussed a frequency that might qualify as the philosopher's tone, the G note of 24 Hz. And we can see how this octave of G is generated. First, G enters the series at the third harmonic and scales up to its third octave pitch of 24 Hz, or the 24th harmonic. The most well-known frequency, though, is probably 432 hertz, which is the note of A, the 27th harmonic. This harmonic is also known as the offset major sixth because it sits apart from the rest of the conventional notes of the 12-note chromatic scale. There's been some controversy surrounding 432 hertz because it's set against the equally tempered A at 440 hertz, In the case of A at 440, it enters the series at harmonic 55, which is easily calculated by dividing 440 in half until we reach an odd number. However, A432 enters the series at harmonic 27. We can calculate that by successively doubling 27 through its octaves. Both versions of A sit close to each other, but A432, which corresponds to the 27th harmonic, occupies the spot of a note in the series. A440 occupies the spot of a mean, not a note. Another way to see this is by looking at the harmonic octave side by side in which each A frequency is generated. A432 is generated in the octave between the 16th and 32nd harmonic while A440 is generated in the next octave up. Another popular frequency is 528 Hz, which is said to be the frequency of love and healing. I can't speak to these claims, but I can explore this frequency as it relates to the harmonic series. 528 Hz is a tone found in the solfeggio scale. The ancient solfeggio predates our familiar diatonic scale and comprises a series of six notes that were used in some Gregorian chants. Dr. Joseph Puleo says, 
The origin of what is now called solfeggio arose from a medieval hymn to John the Baptist, which had this peculiarity that the first six lines of the music commenced respectively on the first six successive notes of the scale, and thus the first syllable of each line was sung to a note one degree higher than the first syllable of the line that preceded it. The tonal names of Do, which is Ut, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, and La originate within the solfeggio scale, but their frequency intervals differ greatly from those of our modern diatonic scale. None of these frequencies correspond to the notes in the harmonic chromatic scale. Most are odd numbers and enter the series very late. But 528 hertz enters the series at harmonic 33, just after the completion of the chromatic scale between harmonics 16 and 32. That makes 528 hertz a slightly sharp C, the very first microtone of the harmonic series. The vortex math value of 528 is 6, so the tone is based on the power of 3. The other tones in the solfeggio scale are also based on the power of 3, as the vortex math values show a repeating sequence of 369. In terms of musical intervals, 936 suggests the order of perfect fifth, tonic, and octave rather than the chronological tonic, octave, and fifth. Another interesting solfeggio frequency is ut at 396 hertz. This frequency enters the harmonic series at the 99th harmonic, making it a sharp G note. It's also the 33rd microtone in the harmonic series. The relationship between 528 and 396 is the same as harmonic 1 and harmonic 3, as 528 is a C, although it's sharp, and 396 is a G, also sharp. If you reduce 528 down an octave to 264 Hz, its relationship to 396 becomes more clear 396 is a perfect fifth above 264. When we divide 396 by 264, we get 1.5, the same value we get when dividing the ratio of the perfect fifth, 3 to 2. In between these two solfeggio tones is Re at 417 Hz, and it enters the series very late at the 417th harmonic. As 396 and 528 are a sharp G and C respectively, 417 is a sharp A flat. Fa at 639 Hz enters the series in the 639th harmonic as a flat E note or a flat major third off the tonic of C. Sol at 741 Hz enters the series in the 741st harmonic as a sharp W note, one of the phantom notes created in the harmonic chromatic scale that's unacknowledged by mainstream music. This note of W sits between F sharp and G, and I cover these phantom notes in more detail in my book The Next Octave. They're also featured in the video how is the harmonic series like a spiral, linked in the description. And the last solfeggio tone, La at 852 Hz, enters the series in the 213th harmonic as a flat A note. Let's move on to another set of well-known frequencies the Nogier frequencies that were developed by Dr. Paul Nogier, a French neurologist. These seven frequencies work as a form of energy medicine. The first resonant body frequency is 73 Hz, the microtone following the D note at 72 Hz. The next Nogier frequency is 146 Hz, which is the next octave of the first, as 73 doubles to 146, and so on, as each Nogier frequency 
is a subsequent octave of the one before. What's really striking about these seven frequencies is the value of each in Vortex Math. As you can see, these seven octave frequencies obey the doubling power of two in the order it's expressed on the Mobius circuit, one, two, four, eight, seven, five, and then returning again to one. And finally, the frequency of 111 Hz has also become a fairly popular frequency on social media. This meme, with no attribution, states that the frequency of 111 Hz provides the healing powers of the 11th harmonic. But 111 Hz isn't related to the 11th harmonic at all. To better understand these two, remember that harmonic and Hz are interchangeable. The 11th harmonic is the note of F-sharp, and it scales up through its octaves to 22, 44, 88, and 176 hertz, never hitting 111. 111 hertz is the 111th harmonic, which is a flat B-flat, 3 hertz above harmonic A at 108 hertz. 111 hertz is a microtone between the earlier chromatic notes of A and B flat. 111 Hz is also what's called an angel number frequency, three repeated digits. And all the angel number frequencies are generated by harmonic 37. Again, the power of three is highlighted, as 37 is the third microtone of the harmonic series. We've talked a lot in several videos about the chromatic scale generated between harmonics 16 and 32. But at the 37th harmonic, we can generate a new scale based not off the tonic of 16, but off the tonic of 37. To do that, we start with the chromatic scale between 16 and 32 in a spreadsheet. In the next column, we'll start a new tonic frequency at 37. To generate the next note's frequency, we'll multiply 37 by 17, the harmonic pertaining to the minor second, and then divide that number by 16. For the major second, we'll multiply by 18, then divide by 16, and so on down the line. From there, we simply double every frequency to the next octave up. And here, you see we've generated 111 hertz, as the mise of the second octave of the 37th harmonic. With each successive octave, we see more of the angel numbers generating as tones. It's noteworthy that the angel numbers avoid any minor positions in the scale. They also avoid the tritone and its partner, the phantom W note. In fact, the angel number frequencies avoid all the phantom notes as well as the major third, which is the first interval to temper the harmonic series against the stacking of fifths. And it's not surprising at all that the angel numbers group together most frequently at the central position of Mies. I'm grateful for any feedback. Please leave your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching.